Here I am prepping the dimmer for installing in the Imagine trailer. Go ahead and open up your dimmer. It has three leads. You're going to need two female, or sorry, male connectors. And one goes on the black wire. Wire's a little bit long, so I generally just fold them in half. And then go ahead and crimp that. One crimped on the black wire. And then the other two wires, the yellow, or sorry, the white and red, get connected together. And go ahead and crimp that. they're secure so that's basically all the prep work so how this will go in the camper is we'll take this nut off we'll install this first we'll put the switch dimmer in there and we'll put the nut in so that the collar side is up and then put the knob back on and that that is the install next step put it in the panel all right, next step is to install it on the panel and remove this panel. Recommend doing this with the all DC power. So unplug from the power source and your main switch turned off. But I'm gonna leave it on right now so we have good lighting. I've already installed one on the ceiling lights and I'm gonna add a second dimmer to the awning lights. Hardest part's getting this cover off without breaking the little tabs. There's tabs on the top and bottom. Last time I pulled it off, I already had broken a couple of the tabs. This is a little plastic tool to there it is, the panel's off. Now I just get the you'll need a Robinson bit. six screws. Alright, so where we're going to get power is you'll see that in this particular camper it's this pinkish red line. You can see it's connected to both lights. That's our 12 volt power source. So if I unconnect, disconnect that, so that 12 volt source is going to go onto the dimmer's um, red and white line. So I plug that into the red and white. And then the red wire here, which is single, take that off. And now that one connects to the black wire. So that's the one that goes up. You can see there's a fuse here for the awning. That's the wire that goes to the awning. So I'll go ahead and put that on. So now, should be able to test. There. So now we can see that the dimmer turns on and it dims. All right, so we know that works now. So now I'm gonna just dis disassemble the switch a little bit. I'm taking the little adapter off. And then I need to take out the old switch. The old switch, has little tabs on the sides, it should just push out. So there's there's the old switch. And we get the adapter, 3D printed adapter, and go ahead and put that in. So I'm just pressing in the adapter. I made it real tight so that it doesn't move when you turn the knob, because I thought it felt really bad. So now that the adapter's in, I go ahead and get the dimmer switch. 
I put it through the hole. Like that. And I get the nut, and again, the shoulder of the nut should be facing out because it'll actually go behind the knob. Gives a little more clearance. So I'm gonna tighten that finger tight. All right. Then we can put the knob on it. Make it look like the other one. So it was vertical when it was off. Alright, so now it's just a matter of putting this all back together in the wall. Just tuck, make sure all the wires are tucked in. Make sure the panel fits flat. And then just need to put the screws back. back in, just put the panel, little bezel back on, and that's all to it. So now we have dimmer on the cabin lights and dimmer for the awning.